determination on new upgraded charges possibly relating to the death. A West Allis couple is grieving the three children who died in a house fire last week. Now, they're not related to the kids. But a few weeks ago, they found those kids alone in a car and they tried to help. Myra Sanchuk with the story you'll see only on Fox 6. It is the faces of these three young children killed in a house fire last week. Joe Tyborski can't get out of his mind. In mid March, he found the twin boys alone in this West Allis parking lot. Next thing I know, there's two little boys walking around back and forth. And then all of a sudden, I look to my left, there's a van door open. I'm like, okay, where's the parent? Where's the guardian? Tyborski says one boy was nearly hit by a car. Tyborski asked the four year olds where their mother was. One pointed to the Michael's Craft Store. Tyborski took them there and called out to his girlfriend, who was also in Michael's. Rita Privet says the story gets worse. And in the meantime, an another man came in and says, there's a baby out in the parking lot crying. And here we found out there she left another baby in the vehicle, which Joe didn't realize that. The mother of the kids, Angelica Belen, was at the cash register with her young daughter, who was also killed in the fire. But Tyborski and Privet refused to give her the children. Joe got up and he took his arms like this and he says, absolutely not. <laughs> And then she looked at me from, I was standing behind him, and she looked at me, and I said, I don't think so. So I said, there was no way we were letting those kids go back with her without having uh, the cops involved at that point. A criminal complaint charges Belen with child neglect for that incident, and another the month before. In February, a social worker found the children left alone in the home. The social worker was involved because there were prior allegations of child neglect. Thursday evening, they were left alone again. Three died in the fire. We didn't do enough. We didn't do enough. Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. We should point out, though, the mother of the three children has not been charged in the fire. However, she is in the Milwaukee County Jail while prosecutors review the case. The home bridge is getting redone. It's a multi million dollar makeover. But there's a problem.